In this video, we'll provide a demo on some of the power of the Sage Intact Purchasing Module. We'll look at the ability Intact provides to create custom workflows, posting and approval options available during the workflow, and the interaction of purchasing with accounts payable. Intact uses transaction definitions. That allows you to build as many workflows as your organization needs. You can choose whether each transaction posts or doesn't post. You can limit which users see which transactions, which gives you very robust security settings. And you can use items for coding so you aren't exposing your entire chart of accounts. Let's take a look in Intact. As I mentioned, Intact uses what are called transaction definitions. You'll build as many transaction definitions as you need and indicate the steps or workflow that is going to happen for a particular transaction definition. In this example, you'll see we have a workflow where we start with a purchase requisition that gets converted to a purchase order, and then it can either go through a fulfillment process or it can be created directly to a vendor invoice, which is going to be in accounts payable. Let's take a look at the vendor invoice and how transaction definitions are set up. Transaction definition has multiple tabs. On the first tab, you're going to indicate basic information about the transaction, sequencing numbers, whether or not there are subtotals going to be used on this particular transaction definition, and what's going to happen with the transaction as far as posting. Is it going to post to accounts payable, general ledger, or it's not going to post at all? So lots of flexibility in controlling the transaction and its posting to your general ledger and accounts payable. If it is a posting transaction, you'll set up the posting on the posting tab. In this example, this is an accounts payable posting, so we're going to credit accounts payable, and we're going to debit specific expense accounts related to items that are set up in the system. The Security Configuration tab allows you to control if this particular transaction can be added new or only converted from a prior step. And you'll set up, if needed, user groups and user permissions. So in this example, we can see that the vendor invoice is only available for the accounting team. The non-accounting users are denied to even see this particular transaction. And the last tab is the entity settings. So if you are in a multi-entity environment with many entities, there are some nice settings that allow you to control some specific information by entity. So you'll build your own custom transaction definitions, call them what you want, and design the workflow that's going to happen with a particular transaction definition. In the purchasing module, you also have the ability to set up approval policies. Approvals can be based on department managers, employee managers, they can be based on dollar amounts, and you can have different dollar amounts per department manager if needed. So lots of flexibility around setting up approvals, and each and every transaction can have its own approval. Let's go ahead and look in Intact. Under Purchasing, we can go to the Approval Policy Setup. In this particular example, you can see that two transactions have an approval policy. So each approval policy can be independent of each other. And within the approval policy, you're going to pick what type of approval policy it is. Lots of flexibility here and ability to kind of stack approvals or do what you need to do. In this scenario, we're using department managers. So here is the department manager list, and you can see that each department has been assigned a manager. So as transactions are entered and an approval policy is designated, those transactions will go to the department manager for approval. Let's walk through the workflow. On this tab, you can see that I am signed in as an employee user. So the employee user is entering in a purchase requisition. They've completed the transaction information, entered in the vendor, entered in some information, and coded the transaction going to a particular department. When it is submitted, you'll see that it goes to a submitted state. So this particular transaction is submitted, waiting for approval. You can actually go in to a transaction and see who it is waiting for to be approved. 
So under the History tab is an Approval History, and we can see that the Department Manager needs to approve it. So I'm the Department Manager. I'm going to go ahead and go back over to this instance of Intact where I'm signed in. I'm going to go to a Purchasing Module and go to Approve Transactions. There's going to be the transaction waiting for me to approve it. From within this screen, I can approve, decline, or actually view the transaction, make sure everything is correct the way I want it, and then go ahead and approve it. You can add comments as you go through a workflow as necessary. And based on the preferences of the user that entered this transaction, once this workflow is completed, they could get a notification that their document has been approved. We can see that it's now pending and waiting for the next step. So as a business user, I'm going to go ahead, based on this workflow that I have set up, I'm going to go over to my purchase requisition, and I can go ahead now and convert this to the next step. So in this workflow, it's going to become a purchase order. There could be an approval policy set up on the purchase order if needed. Intact is going to make an exact copy of the purchase requisition. The only difference it's going to do is it always defaults to today's date. Everything on the screen is the same. I'm going to go ahead, nothing needs changed. I'm going to go ahead and approve this. Click on Submit. It has no approval process, so it is going to come across in a pending state ready for the next step. In this workflow, the next step, I'm going to go ahead and do a vendor invoice. We don't need a fulfillment. We're going to go ahead and do a vendor invoice. Again, Intact is going to make an exact copy. I have the bill in my hand. I can go ahead and enter in the bill, and then go ahead and post the transaction. Because this particular transaction was posting to Accounts Payable, it's ready for the AP team. So back in Intact, if I go to my Accounts Payable module and go to my bills, you can see that this iProgram bill, vendor invoice as it was called over in purchasing, is now under my Accounts Payable bills and it's posted and it's ready to be paid. A very nice workflow ability that you can create within the purchasing module. If you need more information, please feel free to reach out to your client manager. Thanks for watching this brief demonstration of the purchasing module.